name's Mark Hayden. I'm a, a painter from Bradford, born and raised here. Achieved Copley Master status in 1993. The Copley Master status is a very difficult thing to achieve. Um, I think in the early 80s when I was first applying just to be a member of the Copley Society, I was denied, I think, five times. I would get the mail and I wouldn't even open the envelope. I'd hold it up to a window and it denied, you know, it checked off. I've made a living painting people mostly, but I've, I've always painted landscapes and still life. I just try to stay involved with the uh, art community, especially locally. The painting process started with a drawing. I mean, I had, I had the idea and I had a vision in my mind of what I wanted to achieve. Started by going down to the river across from the Buttonwoods Haverhill Historical Society building down on the trail. You feel like you're right on the river, you feel like you're in a boat, but it's this great trail that runs along the river. Just with a four by five notepad and a, a, I think it was a brown pencil and just made studies. But I anticipated a great monumental sky that never happened. So after two or three weeks of going down there every morning, I think maybe I got aspects of clouds and aspects of this and that to work from. And then finally one day I thought this diagonal grouping of clouds running across the, the painting was going to be the thing that did it, have some sort of action to it. I would notice architecture or uh, reflections or some sort of thing and try to uh, envision what the effect of a great cloud pattern would have on the river. And it never really happened until sort of the end of the painting. So I, I sort of... Um, fabricated the sky. Usually I don't think about titles until I have it in a show or some sort of thing, but a great title I thought came to uh, be suggested to me called the, the Heart of the Valley. I thought that Basilier Bridge, the atmosphere, everything a little leading toward was a great title. Uh, I think the buildings, the way I approached the shapes of the buildings was sort of a shorthand kind of thing because I wanted the atmosphere, clouds and the water to really be the subject of the painting. River is the first thing I think of when I think of Haverhill. Uh, I think it's the central feature of the town. I think the most difficult part of the painting was to achieve this dome effect of the sky. It was just by having warmer tones at the bottom, cooler tones at the top, just the way it works. It's the recession of color from cool to warm and then coming back. It's not an easy thing to achieve. And sometimes I have to fool myself. Because I would stop for the day and head for the door like I was going to finish and look back one more time. And so anything that jumped out would have to be addressed. The river, the bridge, the atmosphere, I think it sort of just opens, opens your mind to it, where you, people normally drive by it and over it and only half sort of look at it. To stop and look really gives you a good feeling. So I just wanted to share that. You know, that's what artists do is um, notice things that people are too busy to notice, I guess. Do you um, sometimes misspell it? I've misspelled it. <laughs> I think I misspelled it here. Yeah. <laughs>